No, he had great stuff. I mean, all the way across the board. Um, best fastball I think he's had all year. If, um, if that's how he's going to pitch the rest of the year, it's going to be fun to watch him because um, he established he established the strike zone with the fastball um, and then was effective with the breaking ball. But, uh, you know, cutting it, sinking it, uh, finishing with it, you know, throwing 94 today. I mean, he just, I think he wanted to, to prove that turning 35 isn't that big a deal and um, just uh, probably his best of the year. You could tell early on that he had really good stuff, couldn't you? Yeah, you could tell that he had a he just had a different um, demeanor. You know, it, you know it's funny because we talk about uh, backing off velocity with some of these guys like a Carlos uh, and, and even Reyes at times and, and trusting the movement, um, and then you kind of contradict yourself and, and, and point out the fact that Adams a little bit more life. But there's that that happy medium. You got to figure out what's working, and that was working. He had, uh, he had it, it was all about location, and um, he established the fastball, which is kind of. You know, baseball 101, and, um, and then everything else was better once he made them aware that he could put the fastball where he wanted to. Yeah, he's been really good offensively when he's in the middle. If you guys rally in the top of the tenth, it was wonderful. Yeah, almost uh, drove in the run himself, but um, just a just a nice approach. Everything he's doing, he's doing a great job behind the plate. I mean, saved multiple runs back there, blocking the ball and. You know, it's amazing the confidence our guys have in big situations, and he gets into a, an advantage count and needs a swing and miss pitch, and he tells them to bury that ball that they'll bury it without even thinking twice because they know what he's going to do, and that's uh, it's priceless because then they can make good pitches and not feel like they have to be perfect, and um, just did a, did a great job all the way through this game. Can you take us into that tenth inning and specifically what do you tell Bowman after he puts two on? I told him he looked nice. You know, good, yeah. Light sharp dress. So good. Yeah, he looked clean. clean. Yeah. Yeah. Um, basically gave a, a bunt defense, first of all. Um, reminded everybody of the responsibilities. And then if we were going to adjust after the first play, once we saw if, if it was a foul ball, you know, what we might go to a uh, second play. Uh, after that, I needed him to breathe. You know, he's intense. He, he's If he goes in multiple innings, he paces in the dugout. I mean, that's just kind of his gig. He was out there pacing on the mound and just wanted him to stop and, and, and uh, take a breath, but also get back to trust in his defense and he needed to, to use the zone and you know trust the fact that guys are going to make plays behind him and just kind of give him a game plan also ball come back to him just kind of slow things down a little bit for him because you know he's a kid that, that turns up the intensity in it and he did a great job getting out of that mess did you need to see from him not giving you the ball when you walked up there I mean, when you go out no. and talk defense do you read him at all no no, he's pitching. That's his spot. I want him in that spot. And, um, you know, you could you could rationalize leaving him in that spot. And the fact that he's been very good. But he he had uh, used up a lot to get to the point that he, he was right there. And, you know, that's one of the reasons we brought Zach Duke in is to do what he did right there, whether they leave the lefty in or whether they go to the, the bench. And and uh, he was extremely sharp when he came in. That was real nice to see. It's not an easy spot for a guy coming in. There's no easy spot out here. That one, that one certainly wasn't an easy one. But um, you know, it's good. Our guys are. We need just keep getting accustomed and not having easy spots because it's it, nothing's going to be easy about this. Uh, it hasn't been from the beginning. It's not going to be the rest of the way. And and to watch guys um, be able to stay in the moment and, and just compete pitch by pitch and not get caught up in anything else is um, a great sign. Is that particular guy step for all? No, he was just good. I mean, that's, his, that's the best we've seen him. And um, he had a very heavy fastball, and the slider was disappearing. And, you know, that's a lot of swing and misses we had. And he actually got some swing and misses on his changeup as well. <clears throat> just, he was on. He, um, I think he was bound determined to do something different. Yachty had something he wanted to tell him. It was either switching, it was switching signs and talking about what our plan was and want to make sure that everything's translated clearly. And so Eugene did a ter tremendous job. Excuse me? Do you credit him for that? Excuse me? Eugene? Eugene gets partial credit. Yeah. I, um, I helped. I, I knew I wanted to change the ball out, so I told the umpire. And um, yeah, he used the universal language, and the umpire didn't see him. So that was, that was my Korean today.